Singapore is a food lover's paradise, and here's just a few of the options that we checked out during a recent visit. We also checked out one of Singapore's best bars. But first, we checked out the dumplings. Well, here we are getting one of the um, popular Singapore restaurants. This place is called Paradise Dynasty. Um, it is famous of its uh, Xiao Long Bao, which you may heard of. It's a Chinese delicacy. It's a Shanghainese dumpling with uh, soup inside. You may have seen the traditional ones, which is just white, but check this out. Look, they've got eight different varieties you can try, including black foie gras, spicy, and even cheesy ones. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna tuck in and give it a try. Ooh, the question is which one should I start? Mm. So before Anthony eats all of the Xiao Long Bao, I'm an expert because they actually give you a little guide on how to eat it. Let me show you. Now with the flavours, I'm going to go for the garlic one. Pick it up by the top, sit it on your spoon, bring it back to your mouth. Because this is full of fluid, you bite a little bit from the top first. That creates a hole in the top of the Xiao Long Bao. It's got a broth or a soup or a liquid in there, you then suck that out like this. Mm, and you get all of those flavours. And then to finish, you grab the Xiao Long Bao and devour it completely. Hey Chung Hao. Singapore has lots of coffee places, but the trouble is most of them are the franchise type and the coffee's pretty ordinary and, well, it's overpriced. But there are some hidden gems. In a lot of ways, Singapore is much like Melbourne. There's lots of quaint little coffee shops tucked away that you've got to get out and look for, and when you find them, they're really worthwhile. This one's called the Muffinry. I've got this latte, which is just like a Melbourne coffee. Check out the cappuccino here, and because it's warm outside, I thought I'd cool down first with an organic Coke, which is pretty good for me. Anthony, what are you drinking? Well, also I love coffee, but I want a cool drink as well. So I'm going for the um, ice latte, which is wonderful. Cool myself down in a uh, human Singapore. So yeah, come and try that out. It's really good. Excellent, so we're in that. Our next challenge is where could we find Singapore's coolest bar? And for that, we went back to Marina Bay. Level 33 is located in the Marina Bay Financial Centre and not only boasts one of Singapore's best views, but is also home to the world's first microbrewery on top of a skyscraper. It's a very casual atmosphere, yet sophisticated, stylish and incredibly popular. The food in the restaurant is to die for. And the brews? Well, the toughest question is which one to try. So we've covered off the great food in the restaurant here, also the spectacular views across Marina Bay, and of course the brewery itself. But the toughest decision is how do you know which beer to try, Anthony? Oh, well, I've got the answer for you. It's a tasting paddle here, so you can try a bit of everything. The tasting paddle, what a yeah. great idea. And this one actually contains four signature brews, plus the seasonal one as well. So Anthony, should we start at the top end and work our way back? Absolutely. Looks very nice. Level 33, here's cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Mmm, this one is really refreshing. I like this one. Beautiful. So if you're looking for a really cool bar in Singapore, we highly recommend Level 33. Okay, Anthony, so uh, as we've seen, there's plenty of dining options, plenty yep. of places to eat, drink, yep. and be merry around Singapore, but they don't have to be expensive, do they? Yeah, yeah, look, you know, if you're on a bit of budget or you don't want to splash out every night, um, there are other places you can go and uh, enjoy local, um, very nice food as well. Very so, nice local delights, I reckon. So what's this place behind us? Um, this place is called Lao Passat, which is like a um, outdoor dining area in the city centre, actually. Right. And very reasonably priced food, and we're going to go and tackle that right now. But we're going to put the big camera to bed because it's getting pretty tired, so are the batteries and whatever. But what we have is we have the trusty uh, GoPro and also the smartphone camera. Yep, it's so, always coming handy. Absolutely. So we're going to go inside and document everything on our smaller cameras and put this big baby to bed. La Passat is also located not too far from the financial centre. Outside is where you'll find the popular satay bars. And inside there is food, food and even more food. It's a great destination for anyone dining out on a budget. One dumpling soup? Yeah. Yep. Um, and can I get uh, two of the chai dumplings as well? Okay. Well, 
Eight dollars fifteen. How good is that for value? Yeah. So here we are having the less expensive meals. I've got this dumpling soup and also some chai dumplings. And all of that was $8.50. And Anthony, being the wonderful person that he is, has gone off to get me a nice tiger cold beer to wash it all down. Pretty good meal, pretty good value. And with the beer, less than $20 for the meal. So it doesn't have to be expensive to eat out here in Singapore. Now that Port Hat hits me, it's my turn to get something real. Not something just like Port Hat. Dumplings, you can get it everywhere. It's nice, but if you come to Singapore, you get something real here. Come here. So what do you think of Lapa set for? Actually, I was really impressed. It was really good value. That's I mean, I've been here before and had the, uh, yeah. the satay bars outside of the building, but I've never eaten in the building before. Oh, that's great. So do you think it's a um, good place for a uh, budget dinner? Oh, absolutely. It's sensational value. You know, I had a three-course meal, yeah. including some fruit for uh, dessert and a couple of really cold tiger beers for less than $20 Australian. Oh, that's great. What I about think... you? Yeah, well, I think, um, well, being Asian, I think it's a great street food place uh, showcase lots of authentic Asian cuisine. So I reckon it's a really nice place to come and have a look that's, and give it a try. That's great. Yeah. Um, are you Asian? No, I'm Irish, by the way. Yeah, sure, I'm Asian. Ha, ha, ha. I never knew that.